mantra line shrimp cakes. That's what I'm making for you today. It's been a favorite in our house ever since a nephew uh, showed us how to make this. And it's very simple. I've got all the ingredients ready to go here. Now, what you see here is a half a recipe. The quantities I'm going to be giving you is the amounts used in a full recipe. Uh, the full recipe calls for, and I'll read them for you first, three quarters of a pound of shrimp, peeled, deveined, and chopped, two eggs, lightly beaten, three ounces of cream cheese, a clove of garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, the grated zest of two limes, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one and two thirds cup of panko breadcrumbs, a cup of green onions or a regular onion chopped, a half a cup of fresh cilantro chopped, oil for frying and sriracha hot sauce at the end when you're serving the shrimp cakes. Now all of these ingredients I have here are exact half quantities of what I just read to you because I'm making a smaller batch tonight. It's just for Chuck and I. Okay, now we will start with, I'll grab the shrimp. And put that in our bowl. Mixing bowl. Uh, the panko breadcrumbs. Garlic. Get the cream cheese in here. It doesn't matter what order you put these in because you're putting them in and mixing them all together. The zest of lime, that's, to me, the zest of the lime and the cilantro are the two most important ingredients. My husband, he's not so hot on the cilantro. Sometimes for him, I'll make half this batch with parsley, but to me, it's just not the same without the cilantro. There goes the cilantro, onions, pepper, and salt. Oh, dash of cayenne. We'll mix these until we can squeeze them into patties. In fact, sometimes I like to use a fork, a big wide fork, because that helps incorporate these ingredients. It's starting to stick together. I think you need to mix it for a while until the breadcrumbs become moistened with the egg and the cream cheese gets mixed throughout. It takes a little longer for that to get mixed evenly through the mixture. And you can see it's starting to clump together now. I'll be making this into one quarter cup patties. And you can use this, let's say you make, uh, however many this makes in the end, I'll, I think it makes about a, a dozen, and this half batch about six or so. Uh, three patties, if you're going to use it as your main course, and one if you just want to use it as a first course. Okay, I think that's good. I have here a foil lined. You'd need a bigger tray if you were doing a full batch, but this tray is a nice size for me for what I'm doing here today. And I kind of know my quantities. I want to get these into patties. 
And what I like to do is put them in the refrigerator and chill them for a couple of hours before I cook them. When we do cook them, we'll be sautéing them in a pan. Yeah, these are sticking together very nicely. See, that's about a quarter of a cup. Makes a nice little patty. Try to get them round, whatever works. another nice patty. And there's number six. So as you can see, we've got six very nice patties. The full recipe will make 12 of these. Now I will uh, cover them with foil and chill them for a couple of hours before we come back and cook them. Okay, now it's time to cook. These have uh, chilled for a while. They're ready to go. Normally, I will do these in a fry pan with a little olive oil. That's what I do most of the time. But they can be baked also for uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And since I've been in the kitchen today with baking and I have a hot oven, that's what I'm going to do now. So I will bake this and be back with you as soon as I have the finished shrimp cakes. All right, these are finished. I'll put them out here so you can see them. Even in the oven, they get a little golden color. Whoops, drop that around. And they're ready to plate up.